All right, we'll jump into details. But yeah, this is an older video from a month ago or so. Myself, top left, Pock and Smot, bottom left, whoever that is. Top right is Damie, or uses several nicknames, but interesting person that talks a lot of crap. And then Steel Core is bottom right, and Nod. I'm going to fast forward here a minute to take a look at what I'm doing. So infantry. Training. Scout the map. Yes, Sell the second ref. So I sent some early Out infantry in here to see what top right is doing. Maybe put some early pressure and maybe sneak in a scout. Maybe even go to bottom right, depending on how he does. And then I'm sending the rest of my infantry behind. So now that. I've got the advantage there, or maybe losing the advantage, I might back up or something. So yeah, I still the advantage, so using that. Here, instead of putting him on guard, I should have just attacked each individually. Here, I'm going to surround his imp. So anytime you get the advantage, go ahead and attack. Like, I can use that group to attack right now. Yep. And I'm trying to get the scout on him, too. So put that up top. Could I put that? Use that harvester above the top Tiberian if I already have the top Tiberian already scouted. So this is not a huge infrash. This is just putting some early pressure. Maybe let them think big's coming. Take advantage of getting out in positions earlier and then scouting. Their stupid engage lost 5 10 in for no reason. Now I'm going to try and go bottom right to put extra pressure and scout bottom right. Sometimes you can keep that third refinery, but you get below and money, you gotta sell it. Get the jump on gold. And then here, I should have waited for red, that was stupid. New construction options. Unit boss. Didn't need to build that, need to build a harp. Now I'm not building that. So you can look how many harvesters top right has. Looks like at least three. Our right's getting scouted. Construction complete. New construction options. So I'm building my pad before my component tower here because I just want to put the pad down and build it closer towards my expansion. Although it is easy for them to attack that through the cliff of the desert. Put in my component tower there because I am playing as a not opponent, so having one near the middle of my base to kill APCs to pop up is probably a good idea. Usually I'll put that out towards the right side of my base and make it a SAM. So now I'm sending my Imp and Titans to put pressure on top right. Top right's complaining about people trying hard. I mean, if you're not playing to win, what the heck are you doing, right? So just pausing my Dizzer right now. Make sure I get the bomber out to kill the Imp. And to use for attacking. Sounds like bomb ref's getting attacked by engineers or whatever's going on there. I'm not scouted all the way, so I'm not that worried about the engineers in here. But he could get my MCV. Here I don't see his base, so it's a little worrisome. Should be more worried than I'm actually playing, to be honest. But uh, we'll find out. Again, if you're going to err on the side of anything, err on the side of being more aggressive than, than not. And here I'm blinding, landing blindly, but I know that he's got to choose either my disser or my tits. And uh, either way, it's going to be a win for me. So we can top right. He should not build that refinery all the way up there. I don't know what exactly he's doing. He should have way more Titans or been teched up as well. And he wasn't, so. Five refs. Not that many Titans, not that much imp. So if you go five refs, you gotta build way more imp. Win the imp battle. 
and be aggressive with them, and then pump a bunch of Titans. So here, just make sure I'm taking out the barracks so that won't be an issue. Oh man, okay. So the bottom side bolted early rushes to each other out. Anyway, so the moral of the story is you want to scout your opponents. You want to be the one putting pressure. And if you don't have them scouted, if you don't win the inf battle, if you don't have the pressure on them, you got to basically bunk up for an extra minute or so and get the scout on, figure out what's going on, then probably be the counter-attacker. Um, and then, you know, the bottom sides, they were going early attacks, so that's fine. Um, it looks like, <laughs> you know, bottom left got the better of bottom right. Bottom right is just going to be at a disadvantage going one or two refs, some type of attack, just because bottom left has so much more money, and they can get, you know, bottom right can get double tack, double teamed by top left and bottom right at the same time. Anyways, guys, uh, learn from your mistakes, learn from my mistakes, learn from others, and uh, take what works, keep it, and leave the rest, right?